morning you guys welcome back to a new vlog today is sunday my mom is at work and i'm going to bring this over to her apartment and drop it off remember this bad boy <laughs> i showed this many vlogs ago it's the bissell i don't know what it is <laughs> it's like a water vacuum of sorts i use it with this why is it leaking <gasps> oh no why is it leaking oh anyway before we had got our new rug in the living room we had so many accidents with bruno when he was a puppy potty training sucks <laughs> and my mom's going through the same sitch with cha-cha so she was like listen can i borrow oh here it is the bissell turbo clean power brush pet pro so i am going to go and drop this off at her apartment because her area rug cha-cha likes to pee on it <laughs> these instructions are still pretty put together because i don't totally remember how i use this I just had followed the directions. Okay, yeah, we need a new bag. This, ba this bag is not, <laughs> not working. Stand by, people. Am I the only one who has an unlimited supply of Target bags in their closet? So yeah, I'm gonna go drop this off at her apartment and I'm gonna bring Bruno so him and Cha-Cha can play for a little bit while my mom is at work. But this thing really helped with the old rug. There were so many pee stains on it, so many pee stains. And like, even though I spot cleaned them, when it would get like humid outside, it would just reek of pee. And it's been kind of humid and my mom's like, my apartment smells like dog pee. So I'm gonna bring this over and she can use it. It definitely helps a lot if you use it don't be alarmed because at first it almost makes the pee smell worse before it dries and is better i don't know <laughs> but i found that this was uh, a big lifesaver while potty training the dog so i will link it if you have a dirty stinky carpet <laughs> even if you don't have it for like pet issues it cleans really well it's cool because you can see it like suck up the water and like how dirty the water gets it's actually very satisfying so uh, let's go drop this off and watch the dogs play because it makes my heart happy. Also, it's another cold day. It's either 85 or like 55 lately. It's very, very strange. Hi, Jaja. Hi, baby. These two do not stop playing. Like, I don't know how they... <laughs> I don't know how... <laughs> yeah. She is an instigator. She is the sassy moment. Are you the instigator, Chach? You like to start things with Brew? You need a break, huh? I know you're tired. I think Bruno's been tired. <laughs> you're all wet with Bruno's saliva. That's very gross. There she goes, okay. <laughs> Every time I turn the camera on, Cha-Cha comes over. You guys, you are so crazy. See, I'm cuckoo bananas and Bruno, say Bruno, you look so good in your new harness. Can you tell him he look nice? Yes, and you look so cute too. I don't even get to pet them because they just play. The good thing is Bruno is very gentle. Like they play 24 seven, but like he is honestly very gentle, especially for being bigger than her. She's the crazy one here, y'all. <laughs> Hi, baby. Many hours later. Back home and I got groceries from multiple different places <laughs> because I feel like no store has everything that I need. <laughs> But let's do a little grocery haul. Whole Foods hasn't been having these. I used to get them there. These sweet potato puffs, because they're part of this casserole that I make and I need them. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for cherry season. I got a big bag of cherries, like one of my favorite snacks. I live for cherry season. And then these are always hard to find, but we really like the um, Kodiak S'mores protein bars. They're just, Super yummy. They remind me a lot of the ones from Chewy when you were a kid. This is my favorite, favorite cream cheese. If I ever want to have it on like one of my Dave's- <laughs> You just took off like five years of my life. <sighs> it's probably Amazon. It's Amazon. But if you get a chance to try the Tillamook jalapeno honey cream cheese, it is insane. It is insane. It's so good. And then um, I needed Kewpie mayo and sriracha because that's what I like to put sometimes with my salmon. Um, it's just like I used all my QB mayo last time. I finished my sriracha the other day. They didn't have it, so I ended up getting a sriracha mayo. That's an all-in-one situation. Um, I wasn't really thinking that through, but I'm sure it's delicious and I can put it on my salmon. And I don't know why I've been in the mood for rice cakes. Like the white cheddar ones are so good. I don't know, they're just a fave snack. And then we got some Mission protein wraps these are the pea protein ones i think 
plant powered. These have seven grams of protein in one and they're super soft and really good. Great for sandwiches. I got, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess this is a double cap situation. More of my Blonde Roast cold brew. Now let's get into the Whole Foods order. I got some wild caught sockeye salmon fillets. I've been on a salmon kick um, and I guess I ran out so I was like looking up the best ones because I think one of you guys told me to like look up the different kinds and this is one of the better ones to have, the wild caught sockeye. I don't know. I just love salmon lately. We've got some bananas. Luckily, the ones I have now are ripe and these are green, so that works. Grape tomatoes. We got some butter. This one's from Vital Farms. Yars green juice. Some lean ground turkey. And a couple packs of chicken breast. And our last bag. What's in here? It's a mystery. This massive thing of spring mix. This is actually a pretty good price because this thing is huge. I think it's like five bucks. And this makes so many salads because like it's packed to the brim. Like you take out a handful and it like expands and then this still looks full for like five handfuls. It still looks full. Berries, ooh, these strawberries look perfect. Oh my God, I love when strawberries look perfect. You just never know when you do a grocery pickup how your berries are gonna look. And let's see if the raspberries look as good. Let's see. Ooh, yes, gorgeous. I can promise you this will be eaten in like the next 30 minutes. If you can make your little thing of raspberries last more than like an hour, I respect you. So let's put this away and let's wash our berries and prep our fruit. And I wanna cut up my cucumbers that I got the other day so they're like all ready to eat. All right, it's later in the afternoon. It's time for an afternoon pick-me-up. So we are going to attempt to make a strawberry acai refresher at home with matcha. If you are new here, this is my favorite Starbucks drink. I'm trying to make a sugar-free version. So let's start off with water. I was looking into like natural sweeteners for water with no sugar. So they didn't have just a strawberry. This is a strawberry watermelon. This is grape acai. Strawberry acai refresher vibes, maybe. <laughs> this is also my first time using these, so I have no idea how much I should use, but I found them online. They have like a website, but they only had large packs, so I bought them on Amazon. How much? How much should we do? We're just gonna start off with like a little squirt of each and kind of just see how it goes, because I really don't know. Okay, actually, you know what's a good idea? Before I add the matcha, let's make sure the water has the right ratio. Let's taste that. Ooh, that's sweet. It's not that that sweet, but like, kind of sweet. Okay, uh, now let's add our matcha. This is the matcha from Target. It's just this um, organic matcha. The only ingredient is matcha green tea powder, and it doesn't have a ton of caffeine. A half of a teaspoon has 16 to 24 milligrams. So let's throw in a teaspoon for, you know, like 40, 50 milligrams of caffeine. Eat, 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 eat. Give it a little mix. 
Okay. Made a little bit of a mess, but what else is new here? All right, taste test time. I may have just taken a short nap. This is why I look like this. All right, cheers, y'all. Now I feel like it needs a little more flavor. I can taste the grape acai. I'm gonna add in just a little splash of the strawberry watermelon. Mm, I don't think I love the flavors of these. Cause even when I just did them on their own, it was a little intense. It's not perfect. We will continue to try to make it perfect. Maybe it was too much matcha. Cause last time I tried this matcha, I only did like a quarter of a teaspoon. Maybe it's just too strong of a flav. Add in a little more, a little more water. No, I don't think it's the matcha. Stay tuned. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Maybe we'll just try like a crystal light cause we know we like crystal light. Maybe it's, maybe it's these. I'm glad I didn't buy like the massive 10 packs. <laughs> a few minutes later. Quick update. I had, oh, there goes the oven. I'm about to cook dinner. I had this in the pantry, crystal light with caffeine. So these little packets have 60 milligrams of caffeine already. So I tried doing this with water. I only did about three quarters of the pack, so I'd call it like 50 milligrams caffeine. And then I did a half a teaspoon of the matcha instead of a full teaspoon. So with water, this drink literally has like 60, 70 milligrams max of caffeine. And it tastes so much better. That's a great combo. This can definitely replace the days we don't want to go to Starbucks and when we want to get less sugar and a little less caffeine. But just a little pick me up. Tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's feeling like Monday. But we had breakfast. We are sipping coffee and we're coming to life. So it's another gloomy day. Like the last few days have been so gloomy. It's making me tired, okay? But on the agenda today, we are currently waiting for the guy to get here to give us a quote to stain and seal our deck because there's a lot of stuff that we didn't know when you buy a new construction or if you just like get a new deck because like apparently a year after you're supposed to like seal it to like protect it from weather elements but you're not supposed to do it right away but I mean, thankfully it's a little over a year, so it's not like we missed it too bad, but we wanna protect it. And we were noticing it getting a little janky and we're like, are we supposed to do something with this? So we have a guy coming in the next like 10 minutes to give us a quote for that. Then I'm going to go to the gym. Today is not very exciting. I have an Abercrombie return I need to do, but I'm waiting for them to like email me the return label. And it's been a few days and I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with this, but I gotta return those pants that didn't fit. Very sad because they did not have a bigger size. So we gotta return those, but I'm doing a few days in my life for this vlog. So tomorrow you guys will come with me to the hair salon. Cause look at y'all, I swear. The roots have been growing so fast. And last time we did like a small touch up, tomorrow we're gonna do like the big touch up where just like tons and tons of foils to brighten up for summer. We also started watching the new season of Dave. We were waiting for the whole thing to come out so we could just binge it. That show is so freaking funny. If you haven't watched it, it's with Lil Dicky. It's on FX, but we watch it on Hulu and the whole thing's out now for the next season. Um, there's a few seasons of it, it's so funny. Let me know if you guys watch it. It's just one of those shows. I want him to put out more music because his music's really good. But let me know what else you guys are watching right now. We got to figure out our next route now that Succession is over. We finished Selling Sunset. There's a different Apple TV show we're going to watch. It has Jennifer Garner in it. I think it's called like The Last Thing He Told Me or something. But that looked really good. So let me know what you guys are watching right now. So I'll check back in with you guys once we get our quote for the deck. A few moments later. Okay, we just got the quote. Why is everything so expensive right now? I don't know why we expected like a thousand max. 2400. I think we're gonna get a few other quotes just to be sure. All right, you guys, I just got back from the gym 
and I decided to sit somewhere else because I feel like I'm always filming in the exact same spot in the kitchen. But I came home to an Ulta package. I never remember to use my rewards at like usually even Sephora too, but mostly Ulta. I had $20 worth of rewards and you better believe I used every single one. So let me show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so I'm going to try this. <laughs> this got demolished. I'm going to try a new acne wash. This one's some from CeraVe, their acne foaming cream cleanser. You guys know I use Panoxyl. This also has benzoyl peroxide in it for acne. So I'm excited to try it. It also has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it. So we'll see. Okay, of course, right as I started filming, my battery died. I don't know what's going on with the hair. Let's ignore that. So cream cleanser from CeraVe. Um, I'm excited to give it a try because I feel like CeraVe is a really popular brand and the Cetaphil brand is more gentle. I don't know. So I ran out of my last wash, decided to try something different. Okay, I also just finished one of my native deodorants and I wanted to try another type of natural deodorant. This brand is called Each and Every and it had really good reviews because I'm kind of into like the natural deodorant right now. Mm, this is the rose and vanilla scent <laughs> Ooh, okay it goes on really nicely i like the packaging no aluminum no parabens no artificial fragrance no baking soda plant-based packaging cruelty free and it has the ingredients list on it um so i'll report back just wanted to try something different you know it's kind of fun to try things that are different sometimes oh my gosh the main reason i placed this ulta order is because i have been needing a new lash food this is my favorite lash serum if you have sensitive eyes i have tried so many lash serums and i get like red swelling when i put them on this is the only one that does not irritate my eyes bruno's playing with his bone so i will i'll link all this but yeah it's like a natural lash enhancer it's 99.49 percent natural and i feel like it helps so much i feel like my lashes have gotten so much better since using this the last like year i grabbed another shade of the tarte maracuja juicy lip plump i am obsessed with the shade peachy beige i probably should have ordered one of those too because that one's almost gone my second tube but i got the color cherry blossom i've seen some people wear this on tiktok uh and i just I think the color is so pretty. It's more of like a pinky, rosy color. So I can't wait to try that. And then I wanted to get some sort of SPF tinted moisturizer um, just for like no makeup days, but one that had SPF in it. So I got the one from Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Natural Matte Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 30. Um, I got the shade Vanilla and I figured like as I get more tan in the summer, I can just mix in like some bronzing drops. But yeah, I'm excited to give this a try. I wanna see if it's like way too light for me. I mean, it's just a tinted moisturizer, so it shouldn't do like that much because it's just gonna add a little bit of coverage. Um, oh, it feels nice. It feels very hydrating. So I'll report back on how that is. And the last thing I got is a new moisturizer. I got this one from Olay because it's got niacinamide in it. And uh, I read that this was good for like acne prone skin. So I figured I could use this and then the tinted moisturizer for my SPF. But it's like, cause I've been like dry, but oily, acne, like a little bit of everything. So this has the niacinamide in it. It's got hydrating peptides, all clean ingredients, no parabens, no phthalates. I don't know how to say that word. No synthetic dyes, dermatologist tested. Um, and it's good for like anti-aging too with like wrinkles. So I was trying to look for one that was like good for acne prone skin, good for hydration, acne marks, anti-aging. Cause like I have so many needs I feel like for my skin. And I felt like this was a really good like common denominator for all my stuff. So that's all I grabbed. Um, and I'm excited to try some new things. So today is the Apple, like what do they do? It's like a conference show thing where, where they show like apple updates with like what the new software is going to do and stuff and yara and i always watch those together so that's in 45 minutes it's 12 15 i am going to go take a shower and then we're going to watch that i don't know if we're going to do anything else interesting today um if i do i'll meet up with you but if not i will see you at the hair salon tomorrow many hours later okay you guys whipped up some chicken and broccoli alfredo for dinner 
with um, some Bonza chickpea penne. So it's 6.30, we're about to watch dinner. Oh my God, watch, din watch dinner, <laughs> eat dinner and watch Dave. Y'all, did you guys watch the w WWDC? It's like the, the Apple event that I had mentioned earlier. Oh my gosh, it was all fun and fresh. We were watching the first like hour or so. They're kind of about to wrap it up and they're like one more thing and we're like, whoa. Yara is like a big Apple guy, like he loves that stuff. And he's like, oh my God, that means they're gonna like announce a new product. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is it? You guys can watch it for yourself, but it's essentially AR augmented reality goggles called Vision Pro. And I wanna know what you guys think about it. Cause like the whole time we were just like, I was like a little bit freaked out because this feels very futuristic, but it's also really cool. Like, it's insane. I wonder if I'm allowed to like put the clip in here. I feel like people do that. I'm gonna put the clip in here if you guys didn't see it. It's so insane, like how you can, it, I can't even put into words. You saw the video, like you saw what it was. And then I was like just looking at people's reactions to it and a lot of people were like, how is that worth 3,500? And I know 3,500 is a lot, but like, it's kind of like what the guy said. It's like replacing like a TV, a computer, speakers, like everything. Like it's just like this all in one thing and it's portable and you can see through it. It's not like regular VR goggles. You can like see through it. It's just crazy. Like you can like transform yourself into a movie theater. You can do work. Like I thought about it. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get them or not. It's a lot. But like you, could, I could like cook dinner and have the recipe over here and like a YouTube video over here. It's just nuts. That was the first thing I thought of because when I'm doing a new recipe, I hate always picking up my phone to look at the recipe. It'd be so crazy to just like have the recipe and like a video and just, oh my God. And you could transport to like the beach to meditate. I don't know. It just feels really futuristic. It freaks me out a little bit. I won't lie. It freaks me out a little bit. It just, it genuinely feels very like 2050 to me. And it just, I don't know. It feels like the future and it scares me. <laughs> but that scares me a lot, a lot less than AI does. Okay, not a fan of AI. That freaks me out. AR goggles I can get down with, but not AI. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna eat dinner and watch Dave. Can't wait to go to the hair salon tomorrow. I took a shower and I actually washed my hair because um, I guess it's actually better to go to the hair salon with clean hair than dirty hair. So I was right on the cusp of like, I kind of don't want to go in with it tomorrow being super dirty. So I washed it and I just let it air dry. So fresh hair to work on tomorrow. I cannot wait to take the blonde up a notch and just like foil the crap out of it. And it also needs a toning. It's getting like a little bit warmer than I like, but it still looks great. It always lasts like forever, but there's nothing like a blonde refresh. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is hair day. I did my makeup really, really fast this morning. Oh no. And like, I couldn't figure out an outfit. It was just one of those mornings where I was like rushing, rushing, rushing. And I'm just like so tired today. Um, oh. And my hair salon is like an hour away and my appointment's at 10. So it's kind of just rushing to get out the door. I wanted to put on lashes because like when I get my hair done, I love to put on a false lash. It just makes me feel, feel the hair even more. Um, but we didn't get to do that. <laughs> so we're just gonna rock it. Um, I'm at Starbucks because I didn't have time to make a little coffee or anything. But good thing is I am right on time. I got out the door right in time. So yeah, like I said, last time we did like a mini refresh. We kind of like rotate like the big refresh and then like a mini refresh. So as you can see, we've got a lot of darkness and I'm just trying to like brighten it way up. Let's see if my, my guy's here today and he, the guy who knows my order, he's so nice. Y'all, this is a pet peeve and a half. When people aren't like I'm very aware of everyone around me and like the person in front of me has so much room to move up and like I'm awkwardly like I can't reach the window because that person didn't move up far enough are you do, is that like silly I don't know like I'm always very aware of like the people behind me I'm like oh yes I, sh I should just I move up as far as I can to make sure the person behind me has room to like move up to the to the window you know and this person has so much room whatever <laughs> it's a pet peeve <laughs> Also, you know what's so cool at the like the beginning of the Starbucks line, they were doing um, samples. If you wanted a sample of their new olive oil coffee, it's like an olive oil 
cold foam or something. I can't decide if that sounds like grotesque or good. <laughs> Cause like, you know, they have like olive oil, like cake, I think or something. I'm sure it doesn't taste like straight up olive oil, but would you try it? I said politely, no, thank you, but I'm intrigued. Okay, I made it right on time. Got a big thing of water, got some snacks in my bag, got some nuts, granola bar. Let's go. Hey you guys, here is the Blonde Refresh. So good, I'm obsessed. It looks insane. I knew it would be a full day. <laughs> I'm so pooped, um, cause we did like the full shebang. I cannot tell you guys how many baby lights she put in my hair, like so many. And that takes so much time just cause it's a lot, you know? It's a lot of hair I got here and it's getting long, so. She did so good. I went to Grace G at V Lux, and I've gone to multiple stylists there. They're all fantastic. Couldn't recommend it more. If you're in the mass area, we do like a nice little smudge so it blends out really nice. But y'all, I'm I'm blonder than I've been in a while. So now time to drive home in traffic, which is a bummer. But I refilled my water, so we're good to go. I think that's probably it for this vlog. I wanted to share my hair in this one so hope you guys enjoyed and uh definitely again check out Lux in medway mass if you need your hair done let them know i sent you and i love you guys i'll see you in a few days bye